scientists are one step closer to developing a universal blood type. Our health reporter Pauline Chen tells us about research being done at the University of British Columbia. Right now when people give blood, their blood type is one of the pieces of information needed. But in the future, blood type may become irrelevant. Some of us have antigens that coat the outside of our red blood cells. A antigens give you type A blood, and B antigens make your blood type B. If you have both types of antigens, you have type AB, and if you have none, you have type O. That's the type most commonly needed for hospital procedures, especially if you don't have time to get the recipient's blood type. Mixing blood types can cause an immune reaction in the patient. But scientists at UBC have found a way to use enzymes from the human gut to remove the antigens. These scientists have now figured out how to make essentially a super enzyme that allows that to happen much faster and much more effectively. In fact, 30 times more effectively than previously studied enzymes. And if the A and B antigens can be easily removed from donated blood, it greatly expands the supply of blood available for emergencies, surgeries and other medical needs. But Dr. Dana Devine from Canadian Blood Services says it's still early on in the development of this technique. Do these treated cells behave in the laboratory tests that a blood bank does? Do they behave the way we expect? We have to know that the cells are safe. The UBC researchers will now be planning various clinical trials to make sure there are no adverse effects, but they add it's looking very promising. Pauline Chan, CTV News.